Hi, so in this video, we are going to start with QuickBooks. Uh, we're going to open up the Premiere, and in this video, we are going to add a new GL account to the chart of accounts. We're also going to create a new uh, customer and a new vendor. So I'm going to double click on QuickBooks Premiere. I'm going to install those updates later. So we're going to assume that you don't have any information up here. We're going to go to this open and or re open an existing company. I'm going to open the current file or company file. And I'm going to scroll here and I found my lesson one. If you don't have a file, go ahead and use um, just one of the sample files. We're actually using a construction company if you want to use that one. All right, we're using a sample file and this was is because it was created from one of the sample files. Uh, what it's warning you is there have been entries made, so you don't want to use it for your company file. All right. What it should do is first bring up this accountant center. We're going to just close that. We're not going to use this. And we're going to use the main home page. If you ever accidentally close this and you need to bring it back, click on home at the top. One of the things about QuickBooks is everything is based on list. Think of these as your master files. So you have a list of all your GL accounts. You have a list of your vendors, customers, employees. You have a list of all the items you sell or keep track of from an inventory. You have different price levels or discount levels. Um, all of these are considered list. And if you go to list here, you'll see all the various lists that we have. Sales tax is another one that we have. All right, so let's go to chart of accounts. We see that over here in the company area. You can also uh, get to that from um, company up above and then go down to chart of accounts or control A. We're just gonna go ahead and open that. I want to make this just a little bit bigger for the video. So here you can see a list of all of our accounts, the type, and the balance. So let's go to the lower left-hand corner, and we're going to go to Account and click on New. The first thing we're going to do is enter in a new income account. And we do this by going to clicking on Income, and then we'll click Continue. We want one for consulting income, so we're just going to say consulting. We already know it's income because of the type. We could put in a further description or note if we wished, but we're going to select from here a tax line. Tax line. Now QuickBooks doesn't create your taxes or prepare your taxes, but it does provide a report that you can use uh, in your tax software. So I'm clicking on Schedule C, Other Business Income, and I'm going to go ahead and save that. And here you can see the new account was created. Let's go ahead and create one more. Once again, I'm going to Account in the lower left-hand corner and clicking on New. This time we're going to click on Expense. And the name of the account is Trade Publications. And this is going to be a sub account. So I'm going to click that checkbox and we're going to select dues and subscriptions. Let's go ahead and select other business expenses. And we're going to click on save and close. All right, so we can see that here under dues and subscriptions. Later in one of the videos, we'll show you how to post to a GL account so we can actually use one of those later. Let's go ahead and click on close. All right, so that is a new uh, GL account in our chart of accounts. Let's go ahead and create a new customer. There are three ways to get to the customer center. First of all, you could click on the word customer here in the center, and that's the one I typically will use. I can go to customers, the button, on the toolbar or customers and then customer center. All right, click on customers. All right, so here we have a list of customers. We can see if we click on Chris Baker, we can see that there's an outstanding invoice. Um, we can also look at the information there. 
let's go ahead and create a new customer. Now we're going to create a customer with a job because we are a construction company, or at least that's how this one is set up. And that way we can, we want to track our revenue and expenses by each type of project that we are doing for a customer. And a customer may have multiple projects. If you look here at Christy Amber Crombie, there have been three projects. So let's go ahead and click on new, cu new customer, click on the drop down and select new customer. We're going to say this is Goodwin Inc. And we're going to type in the name back here. We would want to type in a phone number. Oops. All right, so there is a phone number. We would add an address. And we're going to put in a California address just to be consistent with all the other companies in this. And we're going to copy that over. Okay, so there we have our information. Let's go to payment settings. Uh, if we had an account number, we would put that there. We are going to change it to payment terms of net 30. We're going to say that mail is our communication with them and check is the preferred. We would um, be able to add our credit card information there. We are going to make a credit limit of $5,000. All right, it defaulted to one of the local tax, um, city tax areas. We're gonna change that to Bayshore. We're gonna select, go to additional info. We are going to say this is a cust commercial customer type. And the last thing we're gonna do on this page is to add a custom field. So these are fields that you can add uh, that are defined by you uh, that are not part of the normal system setup. So let's go to define fields and let's click on the last blank, blank line and say credit rating. And we just want to track that for customers and then we're going to click OK. And click OK again and you can see that we've added that. And job info, we're going to add that in a second. So click OK. And now you can see that we have a new customer added. Let's go ahead and click on Add Job. And this one's going to be Office Repairs. And that's really all we need to do there. We're going to click on job info. If there's any other things that we wanted, we're going to say this is just repairs and click OK. All right, so now we can see that there's a job set up for office repairs under Goodwin Inc. All right, let's go ahead and close this customer center and let's do the same for a vendor. Let's go ahead and click on vendors and select new vendor. All right, this one is going to be Hughes Electric. I'm not going to go ahead and enter uh, all the data. You, you know how to do that from the customer. It's the same method. Let's go to payment settings. And this one we're going to set to 2% net 10, 30, 2% 10 net 30. And let's say we have an $8,000 credit limit with them. Okay. Let's go to additional info and we want to say vendor type. This is going to be a subcontractor. So this is somebody who does work on our behalf to help us finish out projects. All right, let's go ahead and click OK. And we can see that Hughes Electric, Hughes Electric has been added here. And we don't have any balance or any outstanding transactions because we just added it a few seconds ago. All right, I'm going to go ahead and close that. Well, thanks for your time. Uh, the next video is going to show how to uh, run reports and to create or memorize a new version of the report.